Welcome back. We now have all the shots in separate groups, so we'll cover the use of graph state variables, otherwise known as GSVs. In the next three episodes, we will create GSVs and use them to direct what is being read in our node graph. We'll first use GSVs to set up a multi-shot scene to switch from one shot to another easily. In the project settings tab under variables, select graph state variables add variable. Click the edit parameter icon and select rename. Change the name of this variable to shot. Now add new options for all our shot values by typing them in and hitting enter. You can now see the new shot variables and its options in the variable section at the top of Katana. This is where you can switch between your variables. Right now this won't do anything because it's not influencing your node graph. One way you can do this is by using a variable switch node. Hit tab, variable switch and link all these groups to it. A shortcut is to hit backtick over a node and you can easily grab inputs and outputs without needing to click on the ports. In the parameters, we will access the variable called shot and type in the values for which the groups correspond. Keep it consistent to the folder naming structure. Don't worry, it'll be clear what we're doing this in the coming videos. So for group 01, we'll set the input to 0010. This links the values of the graph state variables with the groups in the node graph. Once done, we can toggle across our shots and see the scene elements update. There are two possible ways to check everything is working correctly. First, by checking the correct nodes are being used when we change the value of the graph state variable. A nice way to see this is by dimming the nodes that aren't being used. In the menu option, in the node graph tab, select view, dim nodes not contributing to viewed node. You can see from the branch above that the variable switch has chosen based on the current state of the shot variable. The alternative method for checking GSVs are working correctly is to look through the camera with your scene graph elements expanded. From this view, you can verify if the scene changes as you'd expect as you swap between shots. With the help of graph state variables, we've created a single project that enables us to work on multiple shots at once. In this case, 21 shots, but it could easily be 10, 50, or a whole show. No more closing one file and opening another to make changes across multiple shots. Just swap the graph state variables to see how your changes take effect on any shot. GSVs aren't restricted to shots either. They can be used anywhere you might want to have options, such as a range of light rigs for different times of day, different materials or load development for various shots. The options are endless and are all contained in one katana recipe. In the next episode, we are going to expand on what we've learnt and use GSVs inside of an expression to set render paths.